Blessed be everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are talking about the Six of Swords. In the Arthurian Tarot by Caitlin and John Matthews. I don't even know if you can get this deck anymore. It's a beautiful deck. And what's different about it particularly is that in a lot of tarot cards you'll get the Minor Arcana showing you people doing things. Pretty much most of the Minor Arcana cards in this deck isn't of people doing things. It's of various different scenes with uh, often objects and in them. And it gives you a sense of connecting to your intuition through what you feel like when you're connecting to the imagery of the scene itself. So it can be really good for storytelling in many ways without necessarily seeing people doing things. It, it opens things up a lot more. I feel in this deck and it's one of my favorite decks. Before we get into the meaning of it though, I'm Sandra from mysterywitchschool.com, author of Crafting Your Wiccan Path and also the Confident Tarot Reader course. If you want to become a Confident Tarot Reader, then do enroll in the Confident Tarot Reader course. It is now a do-it-yourself course, but you still have me to help you along the way if you've got any questions or anything like that. And it's helping you learn tarot using your intuition and teaching you how to use your intuition to read the tarot rather than trying to look up the meanings all of the time and referring to the meanings. It's, it's a way of working with the intuition confidently, knowing the meanings at the back of your mind, but not necessarily having to rely on the set meanings. If that sounds like you, the Confident Tarot Reader course is there. There's a link in the description field below this video. This channel is also about all things wicker and witchcraft and tarot and shadow work and magic as well. So if you like the idea of all of that, then hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss any videos. Now, the six of swords in this deck invites me when I first look at the card to jump into it. I actually find this scene rather peaceful. There's a quietness to this scene and I feel the quiet energy is coming from the colors. It's also coming from the fact that there's not a lot of greenery at the top. It's more the, the, the foliage and seems to be more on the ground and it's a beautiful sort of orangey, not orangey, sorry, yellowy uh, green in that image. And I just find it with the, the stream, the running stream, and the, the boat there waiting with the sword in it, very, very peaceful. So I'm seeing peace today, at least when I look at this card. When you're reading intuitively, that's one of the ways that you do it. You look, when you first look at the card, how do you feel when you look at it? Because you not, might not always feel the same way every day about the same card. You might notice different things. One day you might notice the sword. Another day you may notice the trees. Another day you may notice the boat first. It really just depends on how you're connecting to your intuition and what this, the reading is going to tell you and what it's going to reveal to you. Another way of reading the tarot intuitively is to imagine yourself jumping into the scene. And I feel quite happy to jump into the scene of this because it feels so peaceful. And when I jump into the scene, if I say, well, what's the first thing I want to do in this scene? If I was jumping in there, it's actually to get on the boat and sail down the stream. And so the message that I'm getting from that feeling is that even though things have maybe been tough, things have been not the way you wanted them to be. The reason for that has a lot to do with the thoughts and the way that your thoughts have been probably going at you constantly about the situation. And when you're dealing with the suit of swords, you're dealing with thought. And whilst thought is very helpful in our lives, it can also be the cause of conflict and the cause of most of our anxiety and our worry and our sadness and all of those things. So this is about taking the thought on a bit of a cruise down the stream and actually following the intuition of the water, so the water representing intuition and feeling of intuition, and allowing the thoughts to just ride, guided by the intuition, as opposed to taking it over. Our thoughts tend to take over, 
our intuition because we're taught to do that. We're not taught to use our intuition, we're taught to use our thoughts. <laughs> but our thoughts should be guided by our intuition. So bringing your sense of trust and guidance in your higher self or in your intuition or in your guides, if you work with guides, is what today this card is saying to me. So take your thoughts and allow your thoughts to be guided by your intuition, not by themselves, not by the programs of the thoughts. Our thoughts are programs and our beliefs are just those thoughts that repeat over and over and over again and they become a belief. Our thoughts create our perceptions of the world as well. So if we can use the intuition and the higher self to guide instead of the ego, then the thoughts then become a great uh, tool to use, but they're serving us instead of us serving them. So if this is a message for you today, allow yourself to trust in the flow, connect to your intuition and allow your thoughts to be guided by your intuition and not have them rule the roost because a lot of the conflict that you've been experiencing has been caused by thinking and especially the emotions that you've been feeling definitely caused by your thoughts and your beliefs about yourself and the world and your beliefs about the situation that you're in as well. So just allow yourself to have some time out, get on the boat and just allow yourself to go with the intuitive feeling of the stream. Again, if you want to learn tarot with me, the Confident Tarot Reader course is there. It is a seven module course. You can take as short a time as you want or as long as you want. I don't have it, it's not drip fed. You can get in and get started. I do recommend that you take at least one or two weeks per module and don't rush it because there's uh, homework there for you to do, of course. And learning to read the tarot using your intuition is something you have to practice. So find f relatives, friends, anybody uh, to practice with and uh, get started on reading the tarot. The course is also designed for those of you who don't have necessarily a lot of people that you can practice with. It will help you to engage your intuition even if you're doing a mock spread. So that's a spread that you're doing that isn't actually a spread that you're doing for another person or even a question you may have asked yourself. It's just using a mock spread to learn how to tell a story. I know there's a lot of people out there who don't have other people they can practice with when it comes to learning tarot. So that's why I teach with the mock spreads because it just helps you then be able to get confident reading those. And then when you do start to read for other people, uh, it makes it um, so much easier to do that. So that's the Confident Tarot Reader, link in the description field below this video. If you like the video, hit the like button, share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe. I am Sandra from mysterywitchschool.com. Blessed be.